ओम श्री साई राम प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्ल्स ऑफ विजडम वेलकम्स यू इट वॉज सेट इन द होली बाइबल सी की द किंगडम ऑफ हेवन एवरीथिंग शेल बी एडेड अन टू यू seek god and you will get everything that's what it meant the priority should be given to god and none else in mahabharata five pandavas gave priority to lord krishna they were never after power self and money so all epics mythology scriptures of all religions want you to give priority to god over other things material things in particular in respect of swami i would like to draw your attention what had happened in swami's younger days kondamaraju as you know is his grandfather and swami became very very intimate in relationship with him and grandfather found the company of his remarkable grandchild very enjoyable and he was first to realize such as divine nature years later such a was to say that his father and uncles had asked his grandfather kondamarazu stay 3 months a year with each of us this offer was made as part of a proposed distribution of property between the four brothers and kondamaraz who declined to take his share saying that he wanted nothing except satya as his share i repeat the grandfather did not claim any share in the joint property he wanted his brothers to take their share and he requested baba to be given to him as his share but the illustrious example it is if satya was with him he had everything he wanted from then on satya stayed with his grandfather who lived until a ripe old age satya would let us say about him He was a great devotee, and he recognized my reality. In a touching narration, Satya would one day relate what Kondamarasu requested of him. I was then nine years old. I was inside cooking for him. I am a good cook. Others would want. to take recipes from me he came to me after closing the door calling out satya 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 he caught hold of both of my hands consider these your feet he softly continued i have a desire at the time of my death you should pour water into my mouth i gave a word i would in the years to come the world would witness that satya did keep his word two points here kondamarazu wanting baba as his share and baba giving assurance to his grandfather that he would present himself when the last moment approaches so the next stage is this satya graduated from the puttaparthi elementary school he went to kamalapuram 
where he stayed with his brother while attending form 1 in the board middle school here the important point is this my friends when swami was describing all this in the whole of the auditorium the entire gathering started crying shedding tears on listening to swami's narration of the difficulties he had in his brother's residence at kamalapura it was a big household and the young village boy was made to do most of the menial housework speaking before spellbound audiences in the years to come such a as sai baba would reveal the graphic details of his life at kamalapuram to impress the sociological and moral implications of his school days he would thus narrate please follow there was heavy work in the house and it was not possible to study there properly as soon as i woke up in the morning i had to take a big pot and fetch a drinking water from the krishna canal which was quite far away by the time i fetched the water it would be 9 o'clock and this was the time to go to school in this way all my time was spent in fetching water morning and evening before going to school at 9 in the morning i would drink ambali a m b a l i for breakfast which was really the leftover sankati of the previous night sankati s a n k a t i leftover rice of the previous night with salt and water added in those days there were no snacks eating the previous night's rice with pickles was the common practice what a nargiel it is specially to drive home the moral he would refer to a fair he would say this way here we will find how he kept up the prestige of the family without revealing the actual position economic position of the family how cleverly he managed all these things would be uh, mentioned here swami talks like this a fair was conducted every year at a place between kamalapuram and kadapa this was called pushpagiri tirunala t h i r u n n double a l u and was considered to be a big fair in the region as the time of the fair approached our drill master called all of us and instructed us that we should all go to the fair to volunteer social service he said that we should all compulsorily enroll ourselves as scouts he came to our classroom and announced that each of us should have a khaki shirt a pair of khaki trousers and a belt with a whistle tied on one side he further cautioned that we should have the dress ready in a week's time we were instructed to dress this way and render service at the fair it was indeed happy news that we should all dress in that manner and go to the fair but at that time i did not have even a paisa single pai with him after admitting me to school my father had given me two ns two ns a n n a s in those times two ns were of great value i had, I had however spent that money in the previous 
six months. Hence, I had nothing left with me. As I was a class leader, the teacher pressed that I should not fail to go to the fair. I was therefore in a fix. As soon as I returned home from the school, I would tie a towel around my waist and wash the school dress with soap and water. I would then put some burning charcoal into a small vessel and iron my dress. This way I would manage the whole year with only one set of clothes. Before the year ended, the dress started to tear at a few places and I had no money for safety pins. Therefore, I used some long thorns to hold the dress together. Under such financial difficulties, how was it possible for my family to provide me a new dress? However, it would bring dishonor to my family if these circumstances became known. I gave serious thought to the matter and came up with a plan. I suggested sending a substitute student without informing the teacher. I told the student of the suggestion, convincing him of feigned indisposition. See this. He did not keep anything confidential. He openly expressed the poor financial position of the family. How he maintained the whole year with a single dress. He also then referred to his classmates. One of the students who sat by my side at school found out my secret plan and he was the only son of a rich gentleman. His father would buy everything he needed. He told his father that he liked the scout dress very much and thus had two pairs made for him. This boy packed one of the dresses and slipped the packet into my desk, that is Baba's desk. I have not revealed this incident to anyone until now. When I went to the desk, I saw the packet and took it out. On the packet, the boy had attached a note. I am like your brother. If you do not take the dress, I will die. Burn myself or kill myself in some other way. I tore up the note but wrote on a separate piece of paper, You are like my brother. If you wish our friendship to be permanent, there should be no give and take. That will spoil our friendship. If you really desire my friendship, we should not have relationships based on material benefits. Only increase the love and improve the friendship. I kept the note in the same desk. My friend was extremely pained to read it, but could do nothing and had to take the dress away. She would also, at length, spoke of the close ties between himself and those who loved him. The boys came to our house and pleaded, Satya, we won't go unless you come. We won't go without you. The boys would similarly plead at school too. The pressure that I should go became tremendous. There were only three days left for the festival to begin. I had been telling people that I was going to the festival until the last minute. Those three days were declared holidays and even then I kept on saying that I was going to the fair. The boys were busy with packing during those three days. The actual time for leaving for the fair came and the boys arranged for a procession for themselves. They arrived at my house. Swami could hear their voices. I was thinking deeply 
what I should do. If I said I had fever, they would soon find out exposing the lie. Therefore, I decided to lie down, groaning and pretend to suffer from stomachache and could not stand up. All the scouts along with the teacher, Mahabub Khan came to the house. Seeing them, I began to groan louder and act as one in pain would. The teacher saw my suffering and was filled with sympathy. The boys inquired, Where is Satya? What is he doing? I replied that I had a stomach ache and could not stand up. The teacher chided the boys, It is enough if Satya is well. Don't bother him. Let him lie down. You can all go away. The night passed like that. As soon as they left, the pain also began to subside slowly. Then I exclaimed that I had got over the pain and began to move about in the house. Even the family felt that my pain had gone. This incident speaks of the love of his classmates towards him. And very important moral for all our students and even elder sees. The relationships and friendships should never be based on financial transactions. Friendships will never last long if it is absolutely financial relationship. There should not be any relationship based on material benefits. Only increase the love and improve the friendship. What a moral it is. This one was stated by denying the help extended to him. Like this, my friends, my deep intention is to highlight these values, bring to the notice of everybody, listeners, everybody, so that we will learn and teach our children in turn and share the information in the neighborhood. Thank you. Meet again later. Sairam.